Boy, do we have some structural changes coming to Final Fantasy's crafting and gathering, and honestly, I'm here for it. In this video, we'll go over all the crafters and gatherers adjustments for Final Fantasy Endwalker expansion, as well as some leave adjustments since these also affect crafters and gatherers a little bit. In Final Fantasy XIV's Live Letter 67, they have really come out swinging with some foundational changes to the systems. The first thing they announced is Disciple of Land quests that currently require HQ items will be updated to accept both HQ and NQ, which is high quality and normal quality. This is huge as many of the requests require many HQ turn-ins that take quite a bit of time sometimes, but there's always was the option of purchasing the HQ items on the market board for the turn-ins, which was great until some players caught on and sold them for way higher, which is all part of the game and was actually kind of a great way to make some money. HQ item delivery bonuses for Disciples of the Land will be removed and base rewards will be improved to balance the turn-ins out. Actions that affect HQ yields when gathering will be adjusted, as well as certain requirements for the achievements that involve gathering HQ items will also be updated so they can still be completed. In the same screen, they wanted to emphasize that this does not affect the crafter materials or items that you can craft as a crafter. You can still create HQ items Items and gear. Speaking of crafter, let's move on to the crafting adjustments. New actions will be added and existing actions will be adjusted. They do this every patch just to rebalance out everything for the new expansion. Recipe progress and quality value will be adjusted to the downscaling that's happening across the board. They're also adjusting the difficulty of crafting of the HQ items, which will not significantly increase in 6.0. As a secret omni crafter and having pentamelded crafters and gatherers, and even my crafter relics, this is kind of exciting to hear as some of the HQ crafts and expert crafting, which is my favorite, was perfect in this expansion and I couldn't imagine the upscale that it was going to be. But to me, it seems that they're making sure it doesn't exponentially increase in relation to the new patch, which is pretty keen insight on their part. For crafting specifically, I don't think too much is gonna change. We are gonna see a downscale just because they're lowering all the numbers in the game across the board because of the numbers were getting too high. And it's probably the same thing for crafting that they kind of have to downscale so they can keep everything balanced out in their system working properly. Let's move on to mining and botany. They will be adding new actions as well as adjustment of existing actions. Their yield increases are determined by the perception stat. So hold on to your gatherer's perception material as I foresee this even rising more in cost relation to the breakpoints of perception needed. They will also be replacing increased HQ actions with increase of gatherer's boon, which is the higher yield which I think is great since this will effectively help with inventory without having two stacks of every single item that we have now, which is the normal quality and HQ quality. I personally will be holding on to my HQ stacks until the patch is released just to see how it plays out and what best to do with them as I am kind of a hoarder anyway. So my takeaway is that the gatherer's boon is really what we're going to need to be focusing on in order to get a lot of material at once because if they're adjusting the HQ where you don't need it for turn-ins, I'm assuming the amount you need is going to be higher to balance out the difficulty or the time put in. I am hoping that it makes it a little more difficult in the beginning for gatherers but then you can make it really easy when you're maxed out and have a pentameld because I don't really want it to turn into just like a tedious gathering expedition every single time I want to go get something. It's kind of like that now, but because we have so many abilities that adjust how quickly we can get something in the yield, it can really be shaved down a lot. So very interested how that's going to affect all the gathering and kind of the gatherer classes in general. Fishing will have new actions and adjustments of existing actions, as well as just a simple swap from HQ fishes to large size fishes, which is a pretty fluid adjustment and was kind of that already. In most games, the larger fish means better experience and better rewards, and this is kind of the main point of fishing anyway is to catch the largest fish. The thing I'm excited about fishing is the new spear fishing mini game. They're actually going to turn spear fishing into a mini game, which is honestly freaking awesome to add some fun and playability to previously boring tasks. Here is an example of what it's going to look like. 
To me, this looks pretty straightforward and in games like these is usually where the fun is found in my opinion. Let's talk about the ill-fated leave reward adjustment. The amount of gil reward per leave will be adjusted in light of gil inflation, you know, traveling to the moon and all. Unfortunately, they are reducing the amount of experience in gil rewards for trade craft and fishing leaves that require a large number of items. This is kind of sad and I'm sure it might affect our favorite coffee biscuit leave or dwarven mithril leave. But even with these changes, I honestly still can't imagine it not being a great source of gill and experience even if reduced as it's so quick to craft and leaves are practically free as you just get them by time passing. They also are adjusting some other leaves so we might have some new contenders for leave leveling and I will update you when the expansion comes out. It's also important to note that all experience is reduced but remember they are rescaling all the experiences for jobs since they said the numbers are too big for the system so keep in mind that even though it looks like a lot less the percentage of experience is probably better in some of these leaves all in all the adjustments just seem like a rebalance and seem pretty positive to me and might even make some specific really hard gatherer quest easier hopefully relics with a large gatherer's boon rip to all who have their gatherer relics are ready but also congratulations we don't really know how this is going to affect relics but i'm really interested to see because i want my glowing pickaxe i separated the live letter videos into two other videos covering the number 67 live letter which those links will be in the end of this video if you got any value out of this video then limit break three that subscribe button down below i want to give a huge thank you to my patreon supporters as your continued support really allows me to keep making these informational videos if you want to support the channel then you can click in the link tree down below for more information or access to my public discord if you want to watch the other two live letters or my library full of final fantasy tutorials then you can click here